it's your boy Prince back with another video and this is part two to the question and answer post that I did before. I'm a bit under the weather though if I'm being honest. I think you can probably hear it in my voice. But I think every time around this year, I don't usually get sick. Like for real, I don't get sick at all for people who are, who are close to me will tell you like I don't get sick. So it's rare that I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. I've been feeling like a bit for like the past week. It's a, it's a flu type, it's not COVID. Somebody's like, you got COVID. Nah, it's not COVID, yeah? It's just the, the season. Let's get into these questions. Regardless, let's just, you know, get into these questions. The first question says here, uh, hey man, I have a question about UK sponsor. Can I change my sponsor info before assessment? But this person wants to know if you can change your sponsor info before assessment. I mean, if you go there on the assessment day and wherever you're staying, you take the utility bill with you um and yeah just take the information wherever you're staying take whatever utility bill info that they would ask you to bring to the assessment center from the current place that you're in and yeah i think it should work it shouldn't hinder you so i don't think it's a big deal because they just want to know that you're staying somewhere with someone who is a uk citizen and you have an address you have you know you just have that security that's the main thing i believe that they're changing your information should not be a problem but still look into it just to be sure yeah so this next question says like can i join if i wear glasses so yes you can join the army if you wear glasses they don't push your side just because of that you know you can join because i've had people back in my troop back in phase one who had glasses they went on ranges they did all their shooting they did everything in their glasses and all that so you can wear glasses, you can. Shout out to my boy Chief for that question. Always my supporting my page and whenever I post something, he'll post it on his YouTube, he'll post it on his Instagram. Um, yeah, always supporting. Shout out to you, man. So yeah, this question uh, is a bit tricky. Uh, it says, what are the job roles that are not meant for, common, for the Commonwealth? Uh, the roles, yeah, that are somewhat hard for Commonwealth to get, it deals with the somewhat of a security clearance where you have to do like five years in the country and and all that before you can somewhat get into different roles uh, that's it rules like medic i think and clerks those are roles that you know you would not see most commonwealth be a part of and sometimes it has to do with you know with folks who really get into it they probably get like degrees and masters already coming into the army um, in terms of in those fields so if you've had like you've went to university or well where have you and you get your degree already or whatever in those fields you can have a chance to really get into that so it's not impossible because I've had mates I've had people from Commonwealth who actually went into like the medic roles and also into like clock but that's basically all i can say for now the next question says would an old injury hinder you from progressing forward in phase one training also if you fail the swimming test what happens would an old injury hinder you from progressing in phase one training an old an old injury should not hinder you if you're not really affected by it the thing is, if your old injury is not stopping you from doing the physical task that's needed, it should not hinder you. Once you're good and you can run, jump, skip on that injury, you're perfectly fine. But if that injury starts acting up and you cannot do what you're called to do, yeah, you can be sent to this Normandy, I think that's what it's called, back in phase one is for folks who are injured you sent to that rehab center where you'd have to do like daily stuff to just get yourself back on track. So it will cause you to stay longer in phase one just so you can recover and get back on, the, on track and then finish. But if your injury is not affecting you at all, you should just fly through phase one with no hindrance. And um, pertaining to the swimming test, there are folks who went with me in phase one and cannot swim for <laughs> to save their lives like even folks from my country 
even though we have so much beaches, uh, they still can't swim. And I think everybody is just upbringing, like folks who are, you know, had the opportunity to go to the beach and regularly, like myself. Um, but there are a lot of people who couldn't swim back in my in my day, in my training, and they still went through passing. So it's not really a hindrance. It it, it definitely would not stop you from going through phase one. Bro, oh, bro, thanks for the inspiration all the way been following you from YouTube through your army journey, love the content. I love these um, when I get them in my DMs or where have you in the comments. They motivate me because there are people, this person's probably been there since what, started my army vlog in 2019, yeah? And uh, everybody's seen what I went through and all that up to this day. For those who've been there with me from the beginning, you know, it wasn't easy. So, I just appreciate these, these you know, small bits of uh, encouragement. It means a lot though, it goes a long, long way. Um, yeah. Hey bro, can I have your WhatsApp number? I don't really give up my number like that fam. Um, yeah, you can send a DM on Instagram. And yeah, we'll talk from there. But the number thing, yeah, that's not... I don't even use WhatsApp to be honest though. Well, Apple just took their money for the, for my Spotify just for not the notification. Come on, Apple, you could have spared me this month 79 pence really. But <laughs> but yeah, that's it for the question and answer video today. Hope that you guys learned somewhat something little or you know something that would actually help you with your army career now or for the future but yeah that's about it keep sending your questions send them in the comments or dm and all that and i'll definitely try my best to do another video yeah i'm just trying to get over this sickness right now and yep see you guys in the next vlog or next video all the best take care much love respect share comment like continue to support the page and much respect